of the sun. Now, I just want to remind you that there's some bulletins back there in the back. So after children's message, you can come back there and get you one, but you don't have to. But, or as you start coming in, look on that table and there'll be one back there. All right, well, we got a little game I want to play this morning. Can y'all put the picture up for me? My Bible tells me that in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. I got to thinking about that verse. And I got to thinking about, could I measure how much God loves me? You know, as a a young man, a young boy, a kid about your age, my mom and dad love me this much. I want my mom and dad to hug me. And the older I get, I'm glad I want mom and dad to still hug me. You'll figure that in a couple years. Don't worry about it yet. But, But so I got to thinking, maybe I can measure God's love. Maybe I can measure God's love. What if I, let's play tape measure, measure, and cup or clock. All right. Now. Suppose I want to make some cookies, and I want to get the sugar and the milk and the flour and a few other ingredients all at the right. Which one would I use? Tape measure, clock, or measuring cup? Measuring cup. Anybody disagree with the measuring cup? No. Okay, that's a good one. So as I take the measuring cup, I'm reminded of what Psalms 23 says. It says, For the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And then in verse number 5, he says, My cup runneth over. So if my cup's going to run over, I can't use a measuring cup to measure God's love. All right? Take measure clock or measuring cup. I want to build a dollhouse. And I want to know the length, the width, and the height. Which one would I use? Somebody else. Which one would I use? Ray Ray. The measuring tape. Yes, I would use the measuring tape. Well, I'm reminded of what the Bible says in uh, Psalms 108, verse number 4. It says, the Bible tells us that God's love is higher than the heavens. So, I uh, can't use a measuring tape to figure out God's love. Alright? So, is it tape, measuring cup, or a clock? What if I wanted to use to measure some time? Which one would I use to measure time? Somebody else. Somebody else. What? The clock. Yay! Kindle. Okay, but I'm also reminded of Psalms 103.17 where the Bible says that God's love is everlasting. Oh no. I guess I can't measure God's love, can I? Go back to John 3.16. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. We don't have to measure God's love. We don't need to measure God's love. Here's what you need to do. You need to experience God's love. You need to experience God's love. And my prayer for you today is this. Ephesians chapter 3. That you may understand how wide, how high, how deep God's love really is. And may you understand it and discover it fully. Don't try to measure God's love. Because the Bible says, for God so loved the world. The Bible says our sins are scattered as far as the east is from the west. Okay? God so loved the world. Don't measure God's love. Experience. God's love and you experience God's love by asking him to come into your heart and be the personal Lord and Savior of your life don't measure God's love experience it let's pray most loving gracious God I I pray right now that you remind us on a daily basis quit trying to play games quit looking into the mirror and putting on our our spiritual makeup but father remind us to just experience your love if we put you first then we will quickly realize how much you loved us. As my Sunday school teacher told the kids this morning about Job's love, I pray right now that Job lost everything, but he had everything because he had you. Father, I pray that for these kids, that they quit trying to figure up if they can text it, if they can tick-tock it, if they can make it up and just stop all that and just experience God's love for us. Touch us on a daily basis. In Jesus' sweet name we pray. Amen.